This is Tom, the inventor in paradise. <laughs> I'm back here in the front of the car. Uh, what the heck is that? Look at that thing is coming off of there. Behind this wheel is uh, the brake drum. Actually, it's a, it's a disc with a caliper on it, and it has brake shoes that are, that are actuated to come into the disc and rub against it and slow the car down, hopefully stop it. Sometimes those pads get worn out and you've got to replace them. And you know, if you're mechanically inclined, that is a pretty easy task, replacing the shoes. And you can get those shoes at the AutoZone or Advanced Auto. Uh, and I tell you, for the amount of effort it takes to put them on, you might better buy the higher quality shoe. Because uh, they're, they're just as easy to put on as the cheap ones, and they're going to last you a heck of a lot longer. You know, you, when you're driving, uh, you stop at a stoplight, look over at the car next to you. Look at their front wheels, particularly. And you see this red dust residue, you know, if they got cheap brake shoes on there, they really get spillage. And you'll see that, that red, it almost looks like clay all over, the, all over the chrome of the wheel. You know, it's a real mess. At any rate, better the, better the pad, less likely it's going to happen. Let's get back to the, to the cylinder. Why I started this video was to talk about the master cylinder. It's up here, it has that reservoir in it. My cylinder, look at that, that's nice and shiny. It should be, <laughs> it's relatively new. <laughs> now when you put that cylinder on, that's uh, a little bit more of a task. Uh, I did it because I did all my brake shoes and I had the lines bled and I put on two calipers, the ones up in the front. So as long as I was going all that effort, I might as well put the master cylinder on because I could see that the cylinder was aged and why not? I got the job halfway done and I'll post up the price of the cylinder. I'll look it up. I know I got the sales slip. So I'll throw a picture up here in this video. You'll see a diagram of the pump. I'll get the price and put that up there for you. But what I'm trying to get out of my mouth is there is a peculiar thing you've got to be sure to do when you work on this master cylinder. When you put all your pieces back together and you got your line strung and you got your bleeder valves open and you're going to pump the dickens out of your foot pedal and hope to get this thing uh, primed up, there is a little sender unit that goes in the side of your master cylinder. You can't see it here, I don't believe, unless I get my finger. Oh, you can almost see it. I'm almost pointing to it right down in there, right at the end of my finger. Sticks out there, it has electrical contact going to it, uh, indicating that it's being actuated. And it has, uh, it threads into the side of the master cylinder and it has a stem. Now that stem interferes, is a, a poor word maybe, but it does. It interferes with the piston of this master cylinder. When you pump your uh, brake shoes, you actuate a lever which... Uh, moves the bellows in here, boom, boom, back and forth like this, and there's a rod sticking out, and that rod actuates the master cylinder, pushing a, a piston forward and back, forward and back, and that little rod that's inside there has O-rings on it, and that's what captures the fluid and drives the fluid, drives it into the lines that go to your different calipers, whether it's the front or back, sides, you know, either way. The difficulty is, is when you're priming it, you can't actuate that little piston. It gets somehow gets tangled up or, or interfered with uh, with the stem of that actuator. And the manufacturer's manual of the master cylinder off time warns you of that. And had I think mine had a little picture. Again, I'll post up and try to be clear about this. But they warn you that when you're priming it, if you're doing new installation, you're uh, feeding the reservoir full of fluid, you want to pull that thing out of there. Now, if you pull it out, you've got to put a plug in there <laughs> or you have fluid all over. So before you put any fluid in, take that uh, sender unit out. Uh, I'll carry it with you down the hardware store if you have to, if you don't know the size, and match it up with a little metal plug, bring it back, put the plug in there, and then you can pump to your heart's delight and get that thing uh, set up and get a little bled. Now, it may be a little difficult to take the uh, cap, uh, the plug out, keep your thumb on the hole or something like that, and get the sender right back in there. But it, it's not, not that much is going to come out because at that time, when you're doing that, you're hopefully, <laughs> your foot won't be on the pedal and you won't be driving pressure through it. This is one of those jobs where you really got to have somebody else with you 
if you're doing it in your garage or you know that type of way you got to give your neighbor a beer and let them sit in the behind the wheel and pump for you while you're bleeding each uh, each line and each caliper uh, <laughs> don't ask your wife to do it please you know it isn't worth the aggravation it isn't fair to her you know she's got her mindset is distant far away from the auto tech things that you enjoy. So now there are unusual cases, yes. There are some women who are great mechanics. Don't slap me up about that. But on the average, uh, it isn't the place to to put your wife. Number one, you get upset, you get aggravated. Geez, why take it out on her? You know, don't do that. Be kind. Be gentle. You want dinner? <laughs> well, at any rate, that's my warning. I give you two warnings. Number one was take that darn sender unit out of there when you're bleeding the master cylinder. Read your instructions, will you? And do that correctly. Number two, uh, let your wife stay in the kitchen. Well, that's enough conversation about the uh, master cylinder. <laughs> I kind of elaborated on it, didn't I? I'm sorry, but uh, it's one of those topics that I really kind of don't enjoy too much, so I want to get it off my chest. I just don't like working on a master cylinder. I don't like the working with the fluid. It's uh, it's so harmful. It drips. If it ever drips on the finish of your vehicle, you're going to be so frustrated. You, uh, but you just got to be careful with this stuff. And Even your garage floor, you don't want that stuff laying on there. At any rate, I'll get on to the next project when I figure out what we're going to do. It never takes long to find something else to work on. That's the benefit and the beauty of having an MGP. Geez, I can go to sleep and have a nice sound sleep and get up the next day and sure as hell something's going to be wrong. <laughs> I'll let you know. This is Tom, the inventor in paradise. I got to get out of here.